thank you to the Patreons for funding this video, allowing Schmeichel, my editor, to create extra content. Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Timberborn. Well, well, it's just the preview demo. So this is a game all about the engineer of the wild, the beaver. And obviously if I was an animal, any animal in the world, I would choose to be a beaver. Uh, but thankfully, I'm not. I get to use today's game to live out my wildest fantasy and become a beaver and build a dam. So let's get into it. You know it's going to be a good game when the artwork has a bridge in the background. I mean, it looks like it's collapsed, but uh... Oh, there's two bridges. They're actually walking on a bridge. Oops, I've just loaded up my, my previous go at this. So I did have a quick go just to sort of learn how it works and stuff. Um, ignore the bottom left. It went, it went really well. I know exactly what I'm doing now. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna start a new game. So there's three sort of factions in the game. There's these guys, which I don't know, is that meant to be a cowboy hat or what is that? There's the iron teeth. Now their motto is work hard, work hard. Now they're not available in the demo, unfortunately. And then there's these guys, the unknown. But today's video will be using the beavers of Demoria, the classic beaver. And we're recommended to play the planes level. And because of my success and my first playthrough, I'm gonna be going <laughs> straight into the canyon. You can't tell me what to do, game. You can't tell me what to do. All right, so here we are in Beaverton. <laughs> That's what I like to call it. Here are all our little beavers. We've got loads of them. I'm going to name my original beavers after my Patreons. How about that? All right, so all our beavers are named. I'm going to quickly pause the game. You can see our beavers, they, they're not sure what they should be doing. So let's get them some jobs to do. Let's build some stuff. Let's have a look at our map as well. All right, so as you can see, we have a river flowing through. I'm just going to press play to see what direction it's flowing. Okay, it's flowing from here. It comes down. You can see all the land within river range. <laughs> a technical term. Uh, everything's growing. The grass is green. The trees are green. And the berries are not green. They're berry colored. So down the bottom here, we have a range of different buildings and stuff. Um, we can also use this, the cut trees. So if I if I start with this, I can literally select an entire area. There we go. So all of those trees that are now very green and that one, uh, they're all marked for cutting. So they will get chopped down by the beavers. Uh, and I probably should mark these ones as well. So all of those and all of these dead ones, I think dead wood needs to be gone. I'm, I may as well do all of those. All right. So all the trees in range will be chopped down. Lovely. Uh, but we do have some starting materials. We've got some we've got some wood here and some explosives. <laughs> I've also got food already sorted. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build, I'm going to use this one, paths and structures. I'm going to build a sort of road layout. So we'll go from our little hut here and we'll go to that staircase and we'll go straight down to the water. All right, now you can see these are all marked up for building. There's no one building currently, but uh, when I press play, all the beavers will start building. I'm going to plan a few more buildings first. So I'm going to go into water. So if I just rotate that, I'm going to build a water pump and I'm also going to build a water tank or two. I will add more of these, but for now, just one. I'm going to build it that side. And these store water, because as you'll see, currently we're in the wet season. Uh, there is going to be a dry season. When the dry season comes, the river dries up. So we need to prepare. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail, as someone said probably once. Uh, I'm going to build another path heading towards these trees. And then I can come down to this one, wood. And this is a lumberjack flag. So that basically turns a beaver into a lumberjack. So if I put two of those in, then we've got two beavers cutting down all of these trees. And then the same sort of thing for the food. We have a gatherer flag and these turn beavers into gatherers. So they can go to these blueberries and grab some berries. So I'll do one of them. They seem to run out pretty quick, as I found out in my first playthrough. Uh, but I think we'll press play now. Uh, all of our little beavers, they're a bit confused. They're like, we don't have any any storage. Because uh, I stupidly forgot if we want to collect these trees, we need a log pile. All right, so we can see here we've got four beavers building a road. So we've got EGB Gaming, Crimson, Zach, and Omkar. Good work, guys. They're getting the road done. Uh, meanwhile, someone's already built the log pile. So you can see these trees have been cut. Who are, who's cutting the trees? Who's that? Jordan Miller. Good work, son. And Armin, these two legends, they're cutting trees down and they'll take the logs and pile them up in this log pile. Uh, once they've built the road here, they will move faster along it. So that'll be good. All right, so that's our sort of basics. We do need some housing for our beavers because uh, otherwise they will sleep on the streets. 
<laughs> it's very obsessing to watch. So I'm going to grab a lodge. We should be able to get two next to each other if we go there and there. And then rotate. Nice. And then if we do a road up between there. Nice. So that's four houses. And maybe, just maybe, that will allow everyone to sleep safe and not out on the street. Uh, we only have four builders at the moment, so these four guys. So to make more jobs available for builders, we need to build, go down to here into the labor. We can build a builder flag or a hauling post. Now, hauling post takes planks. We don't have planks yet. We only have logs. So we'll stick with the builder flag. And we'll shove one of them down there. It's just a nice little spot for it, I think. Oh, and here you go. Nighttime is coming. So we can actually set the working hours of the day. We can reduce that or we can increase it. I'm going to leave it on the default 16 because I don't want to overwork my beavers. But uh, I also don't want them slacking. I'm a hard taskmaster. They'll eventually all take a little sleep. And they got no houses. So the first night they're sleeping rough. Yeah, you can see all of our little beavers sleeping outside. Look at these three. They've like, they've made, oh, they've all made, oh, so they've all made little beds out of like straw and leaves and stuff. Uh, this one does not look comfortable at all. <laughs> He's impaled himself on a log. Who is that? Armin. <laughs> Sorry, Armin. Uh, everyone's getting a bit thirsty as well. So we might have to come down here and prioritize that. So we, we've got a construction priority on everything. So we can up that. And that'll make sure that's the next thing that they build. All right, here we go. Who's come down here? Zach's come down here and he's going to be building the water supply. There it is. There it is. So this uses the latest in log technology to uh, pump water out but uh, we don't have any workers at the moment so if you look at up here employment we currently have no unemployed beavers so what we might have to do we might have to reduce one say from the builder's hut so if we reduce that egb you've just been fired and uh here we go breezy bro oh I <laughs> so i fired egb who's now unemployed it seems and breezy bro took up this job so he's pumping the water now so now you can really see how this works it uses the latest in log technology uh, to pump water out and this stores a certain amount of water and otherwise it will have to be stored in these tanks once they get built uh, so as as we do have someone unemployed there you go we've employed you again egb is fine it's fine right food seems very good which is surprising because they haven't built these yet there you go someone's egb now employed is building these on oh, who's helping him zach's helping him so these will be the berry collectors uh, oh no look He's left his bed out. Oh, they've all got their beds out. So these are sleeping mats. I can... <laughs> Look, it's EGB sleep. I can literally demolish it. Should I? <laughs> Sorry, bud. <laughs> do I want to leave the... No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not... I'm not evil. I like beavers. They're the engineers of the natural world, not the architects. Oh, breezy bro, you've grown up. Well done. All that pumping water has made him a man. Well, a beaver. Uh, right, so we're not able to build these logs. It says can't get all required materials. So let's just have a little look. These are our housing. Uh, seems we don't have enough logs. Uh, but we really need people in the lumber in the lumberjack. So I'm going to reduce the builders down. So I've fired two of those. And hopefully they'll go into... Yeah, Crimson and Zach are now in there. So they're no longer building. They're chopping down trees. And Jordan Miller is also thirsty. You need to go pop your log down, mate. Who's this? Who's having a break? EGB, come on, man. <laughs> we got stuff to do. He's not even unemployed. He's just being lazy. So if we speed this up a bit, are they going to work through a little bit of the night? Are they going to get it done? No, they didn't quite get it done. So it looks like another night on the streets, guys. I am dreadfully sorry. I really should look after my patrons better than this. All right, and now it's daytime. All right, so we've got lots of people logging now. They will store the logs here. The builders will grab the logs from here. They're focusing on this first house. Uh, and you can see our water storage has been built. So if we look down there, it's slowly filling up with water. Uh, the only downside is someone does actually have to come and take it from here into there. Is it going to be this guy? No, he's just having a drink. Aaron Mackey having a drink there. He's still a little baby. Look how big this boy is. Omka, you're huge, man. There you go. And he just carried the water from the pumping station into the storage. Uh, our first house is built as well. So maybe, just maybe, there won't be people sleeping on the streets tonight. Uh, right, I need to get someone making food because food is dropping. We're on 83. I can't really choose who becomes what, I don't think. I really need someone to go work on this gatherer flag. We've got no unemployed people. Oh, God. <laughs> right, I might have to delete this. Oh, no, I can pause. I can pause them. Oh, idiot. 
And now we have someone at the gatherer flag. Excellent. So Crimson is going to be the hunter gatherer. You can see him there. He's gathering berries. Good work, Crimson. Uh, so we're all good. Uh, the next thing we need to focus on then is food. So if we come down here to food, we can build a farmhouse. And that employs farmers that plant and harvest crops. So if I grab our farmhouse and let's shove it there, see? And then we can come down to here, plant crops. And we can choose between carrots and potatoes. Now carrots are a good sort of starting food and potatoes are a bit more, a bit more late game. Uh, you generally need to buy other things to cook them. Uh, so just to start, we'll go with the carrots. And I'm just going to select like all of that land. Now the thing with this is when the dry season comes, these will die unless you have enough water. So what I might do, I might do a bit more water storage. Let's say another one, another one there. I'll do three for now as well, because that one's now 100% full, as you can tell by the easy to read logo. Uh, and there is, there is an option later on for an irrigation tower, which irrigates the land around it. And that's the one that helps us in the dry season. Uh, but we need science points. And for science points, obviously we need science. No shit. So thankfully we can build an inventor's hut straight up. So I think we'll plonk that there. Uh, and we've got... Okay, so we've had... The builders had a productive day. We've got three... Bil... Bilver? <laughs> we've got three beaver houses. Uh, unfortunately, the last one isn't done. So we still have two homeless people. Oh, I feel so bad. Like, everyone's going in their, in their houses. Like, all the lights are on. <laughs> and Jordan's just roughing it out. Is there anyone else that doesn't have a house? Oh, look, there's someone up Oh, why are you sleeping on your own? Who's that? Breezy Brew. <laughs> he literally works all day on his own, pumping water in there, doesn't see his soul, and then he chooses to sleep up here on his own. <laughs> right, so it's the next morning in Beaverton. Uh, I need to think about building a dam, because dams are fun. And I really wanted to go with, like, a tall dam. I reckon across here could be incredible. I literally dam that and fill all of this with water. The only trouble is, it's quite a way to get over there. But I think we're going to have to build stairs. Yeah, so stairs we need to unlock for science points. So we need to build this, our inventor's hut. And that obviously takes a person as well. We're going to have to choose a resource to not use for a while. Uh, but I will prioritize. Oh, do I want to prioritize it? I really need to prioritize food, really. This food, although we're collecting berries, it does seem to be going down. So we'll prioritize the farmhouse first. And then the inventor's hut. And then those water... Oh, we need the water as well, though. I need everything built. <laughs> I need more beavers. Thankfully, though, our final beaver hut is built. So no one should be sleeping rough tonight. Top left, no one is homeless. All right, so we've built our farmhouse now. Yeah, there you go. Jordan Miller's now in the farmhouse. So uh, he should get... Yeah, there he is. He's planting our carrots. Nice. Oh, your beavers are happier than ever. You've reached a new well-being high score. Four. Nice. And we've attracted a new beaver who's now unemployed. So what can we put him on? I reckon more logs. We can always use more logs. Uh, we do need enough water and food to be able to survive the dry season. So I might build... A small warehouse. And as that gets built, hopefully as we produce food, that will be stored in here. And then over the dry season, when we're not producing any food, because this will all die. This will go like dark brown, horrible. Uh, we should be good. Water is filling up nicely. I'm, I'm wondering, maybe I should build another... Yeah, we'll build another couple of those. Oh, look at our logs. We got so many logs. That is great work, guys. We've done really well today. Right, so we need to have a little think about what we want to build next. We could probably do with starting to make planks so we can build some better buildings. So this lumber mill, that's how you produce planks. It requires power though. So we'll go into our power and we can build a water wheel. So if we shove this, it's got to be in the water. Let's say we put it, we can put it there. No, we'll put it, we'll put it here. So that will produce power, which will power this lumber mill. So I can put that there, but they're not connected. So what we have to do, we need to go back into power and use these power shafts. <laughs> Shaft. So now you can see if I, I can put these anywhere, they're basically like wires. So I put them in there and that takes the movement from here and puts it into our lumber mill. Right, and then we need to think about how we're going to get over here and dam this up. What I'm thinking is we've got to build a path network with stairs. So obviously we need to unlock the stairs. 70. We've only got 36 science points. We need 70. Uh, but whilst we're waiting for those, we, we can get our path on its way. So I'm thinking people can get up here with these stairs. They can head over here. We can probably put stairs in there. Stairs up that. 
And then to get across here, we probably just want to fill this in, to be honest. And then that will allow them to get around the corner. So there is this damn one. Uh, so we'll, we'll pile that up at some point, once we have enough science points to know how the stairs work and stuff. Uh, so let's fast forward. We're nearly a week in. I can't remember when the dry season comes. It might be very soon, though. Right, so uh, <laughs> Jordan Miller just sat there. I don't honestly know if he's doing work or if he literally just waits for them to grow. Um, yeah, not sure if I should take him out just whilst they grow. So maybe we'll pause you. Yeah, there you go. And hopefully that will just grow on its own and then we can put someone back in when we need them. Uh, but for now, you can become a lumberjack. So we need more wood. That log pile has gone down immensely. And then our lumber mill is being made. I will prioritize that bar as well so the power can get into the building. And then we should be good. Our water, we've got two tanks completely full. I'm not sure how many we need to survive the dry season with 12 beavers in the house. Oh, right, here you go. Our carrots are growing. So I'll tell you what, we probably want to unpause that and take Jordan off the lumberjack. Hopefully he'll be back into the farmyard. There you go. Is that in there? Uh, yeah, there you go. He's he's harvesting our carrots. So now in our food, we have berries and carrots. Yummy. And our lumber mill is complete. So now we're producing planks. You can see up here, we've made two planks already. All right, so we've got 69. Oh, yes. Science points. We only need 70 for the stairs. So who's our science point? So it's Corey Taylor. Come on. There you go. 72. Let's unlock the wooden stairs. Yes, I do want to unlock. Boosh. All right, so these cost four planks and one log. We've only got two planks, but uh, should be fine. The only trouble is it looks like they only go in one direction. So what I'll do, I'll plonk them there and then there. So yeah, build that and then build that. But as you can see here, they're not going to be able to get there. We need to build more paths or a build a flag or build a hut. Because basically this is too far from the current construction. And you see down here is fine, but up here we get we get the warning. We're too far from the builders. So I'm going to go ahead and build another build of flag. And I'm going to plonk that there. So that should extend our range. I need to prioritize those stairs as well. And once those stairs are built, then we can build this build of flag. Yeah, but it's another night. He hasn't... Jordan Miller has not harvested many crops. Maybe we should add another EGB. You're working there for a little bit. And then it's the next day. The stairs are nearly complete. Come on. Who's in there? Someone's in there. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> right, so our beavers, they've made the stairs and they're up here so they can build this builder flag. So I'll high prioritize that. And once that's complete, hopefully we can build our stairs down the other side. There you go, stairs in range. I will build a path. Nice. And Michael Francois, he is the resident builder up here. Sorry, EGB, I know I promised you that job, but uh, <laughs> you're too slow. Then look how close we are to being able to build the dam. But that will have to wait till next time. Thank you once again to the Patreons for supporting the video. Michael had a great beavering time editing this. Everyone else, don't forget to like the video. And I'll catch you next time. Peace, love, and beavers!